Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go the cash at dollar sign Dean by any means. There go the PayPal at Dean by any means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It's much, much, much appreciated. We back, y'all. I just want to say thank you to every last single one of y'all that seen what i was going through man um i'm gonna have to bury one of my closest friends man somebody that um i grew up with um i was with the day that he was um unfortunately unfortunately murdered um and it just bring a little reality to life and, and it's not the first time y'all this is about the eighth friend i've buried in 15 years and that's why it's hard for me to stay away from y'all because these are things that then took me away from the streets and um and, and, and certain things, man, when you're trying to look for other avenues and ways out. And uh, the some of the things that keep me focused and keep me motivated. And, 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 it's, and it's a hobby and keep you keep you knowing that it's more to life and more things you're trying to accomplish because of what, you know, certain things that transpired, man. And I want you all to know, man, last thing I saw my Brody doing was being a father. Last thing I saw him doing was throwing a party for his son. And that's just, I'm just glad that that's my last memory of him because that's exactly who he was. You know what I mean? And um, it's unfortunate, y'all. I had to step away for it just for a little bit, y'all. I couldn't be away from y'all too much longer, man. Uh, I enjoy this boxing stuff so much, man. I enjoy talking to y'all because I know, um, I just appreciate how much y'all value me. And um, after, you know, posting the things I posted and seeing, you know, people just telling me, Dean, we really value you out here. And when they come to this boxing talk, and then see Javante Davis repost, you know, some some of the things that I said on Twitter. Um, it just let me know that I'm leaving a mark out here, you know, that people hearing my voice and um, that um, I got to keep my foot on, on everybody's neck. That I am bringing honor and consistency and um, just truthfulness and realness and passion to this boxing talk and to this boxing game. And hopefully it trickles down um, seeing other fighters, you know, uh, hopefully they hear a lot of my stuff because I come to find out that David Morrell, one of my favorite fighters, he's very in tune with my channel and, and things that I got going on. And um, he really, really appreciates the videos that I make, you know, that that talk about him. And for me to get that um, get back and get that information that they that people watching, especially somebody like him that I'm a fan of and see that he a fan of me as well. Um, you know, that's um that's very powerful right there. But let's get into it, though, y'all. So, um, Devin Haney don't want to get his get back, y'all. I know that. I know we ain't going out like that. Oh, y'all, man, I've been listening, man. I've been on, I didn't hear y'all, man. Do y'all know how bad I've been wanting to jump up on these panels and get with y'all? So, he not going to get, so he, you got to pick one Devin Haney fans. You have to pick one. Did you lose to Ryan because of PEDs in the weight or because he was outclassed? You can't have it both ways because if you only lost to him because of the PEDs and the weight, then you should have no problem um, rematching him. You're going to make sure he go through the strenuous testing and the whole nine. Best believe that. That's what I would do. And Ryan said he'll give you your get back. So we praise Miguel Cotto for getting his get back. We praise uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather for rematching Marcus Mandana. But we're going to let David Haney to face a boxing, the guy that y'all been telling me for two, three years now is the best thing since sliced bread. He going to go get beat up and just sit on the L but complain about the L afterwards like he can't go back and get his get back. If you think Ryan is this, that, and the third, why don't you go out at that, that man? That man put hands on you. You acting like you acting like y'all had an argument. No, y'all. You, you, so you gonna go to some street stuff? You're not gonna do nothing to Ryan Garcia, Devin. Stop it. Only people believe you is the people that love you, and I. You know I don't believe you not whatsoever. My God, you're not gonna do none of that. Go get your get back. If you felt as though you was cheated, make sure you go. Make sure that that don't happen to you a second time. Like Miguel Cotto, you can't run your mouth as much as you run your mouth, and then don't want to get get your get back with Ryan Garcia. We can't be going out like that, y'all. That's cowardice. But then, not only that, though, y'all, but you want the New York State Commission to strip Ryan Garcia of his W and give it to you or just take it from him. So you want to just go about your life and act like this ain't never, never happened. The problem with that is, um, sir, you made us pay pay-per-view for it. We'll never forget that that happened. 
if you're that much better than Ryan and you feel who don't want to get they get back against somebody they felt cheated them and they could prove that cheated them. And then you know how bad that looks, um, Devin. If this test come back with Ryan Garcia and is negative, if this test come back with Ryan Garcia, and let's say it is positive, but they find out that he ain't intentionally put this in his body or the levels wasn't high enough where they could suspend him or take the W, then you then you saying you don't want your get back looks 10 times worse because now you can't even stand on the fact he cheated because everybody going to say, well, he ain't going to suspend it. What's your excuse now? You can feel how you want to feel, but that's not the end result. You know, the same way that Devin Haney fans told us that we couldn't feel like Loma won. You could feel like Loma won, but Devin got the W. So you could feel like Ryan dirty or whatever the situation is, and y'all already know how I feel about Ryan. I ain't got to go into that. But if you feel that way about Ryan, then go get your get back. But you can't have it both ways. You can't not want to go get your get back with Ryan, but then you don't go fight Sabriel Matias. You don't go fight Tiafimo Lopez. You don't go fight Pitbull Cruz. Absolutely not, my guy, because you ran with a narrative that you fight the best. That's your whole promotional thing, that you take this, the, the, the best fighters, everybody's ducking you, you the face of boxing, y'all fight for legacy. That is your four talking points, my guy. You can't get beat up and then... Just negate all your main talking points. It don't work like that, my dude. It don't work like that. Devin Haney and Bill Haney is ruining Devin's career right now. He's ruining his career right now because at least if you go get your get back, everybody going to say, man, we salute Devin. Devin went in there, got his get back. He proved that he was just a cheater. Or even if you lose, we still going to say at least Devin showed hard enough to go get his get back and ain't just sit on that L like that. You don't even know what these test results going to be. And you already saying what you're not going to do. That's what makes me think you a little scary, my guy. I thought he a C-level fighter. If he only beats you because of PEDs, you should have no problem going back in there and beating up a C-level fighter unless you was lying then or you lying now. Which one is it? It got to be one. You cannot have it both ways, Devin Haney. Devin Haney fans, it don't work like that, y'all. Unfortunately, it does not work like that. We saw you get beat up. And I, a lot of us think that PEDs have nothing to do with your head going back on a straight line. With the game plan you came in there with, a lot of us don't don't believe don't don't believe in them sentiments. You could have done a lot better in that fight because there's plenty of fighters, Devin Haney fans, that have went up against guys that was juicing and they beat them. There are plenty of guys that went up against people that was juicing and they beat them. So you can't even just hang your hat on that. You're not the first fighter that somebody popped dirty against. We found out popped dirty after the fight. You're not the first fighter that 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 that, that has happened to, my guy. And the problem is, is that you lost, but you went to your stable mate. She was accused of the same thing, but she won. So did she win because of that? You around somebody that's an alleged PED user, even though her name got cleared or whatever the situation is, but it's not like you around somebody that has the squeakiest clean reputation either. So you owe Ryan Garcia that same thing that you wanted and you was hoping people would give Alicia Bumgarner. Now, this is what I'm talking about, about consistency. When Alyssa Bumgarner popped pop dirty, everybody was, we got to wait and see. You didn't think, see me, I don't, I never thought about um, Ryan's character. Ryan, I, oh, I've been telling y'all the whole time, Ryan is an idiot. People that I don't think are fake Christian, people that I think play with God, I don't put nothing past them. I don't put nothing past somebody that'll play with Jesus name. And I'm not Christian, but the fact that you're saying that you are Christian and I, you are clearly my Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You are clearly mocking Jesus' name? Nah, I don't put nothing past you, my guy. That's like a guy that claims he's Muslim and I seen him eating a pork chop or a pepperoni pizza. Even though you could get beef pepperoni, but y'all y'all understand the sentiment. You can't have it both ways, y'all, and I'm not going to allow it. Never will I allow it. I am very disappointed in Devin Haney, the ESPN interview, Bill Haney and them, the whole nine, because I never hear none of y'all complain about y'all direct deposit. Y'all chose to take that fight. Y'all never complain about y'all direct deposit, and I'm going to make a video about that because I'm tired of it in this boxing thing. 
I am tired of it, man. Everybody got an excuse after every fight for the fighter that got beat up. Every time. It's like we just go through it over and over again. And as long as I'm here, I'm not going to sit back and just to be allowing this. I'm sorry. Y'all can sit back and allow it, but I'm not going to do that on my platform. If you're going to complain about why you lost and all of these other things about why you lost, can you please complain about your direct deposit the same way, my guy? Because you can't accept the compensation and then complain afterwards. You can't be buying G-Wagons and new grills, but you so upset about what transpired. Well, it don't seem like you that upset to me. Sorry, y'all. Go get your get back. Real men go get their get back. Or at least they'll be quiet afterwards after they got beat up by some by somebody. But you can't be talking trash but scared to fight the guy that you talking trash about that already put hands and feet on you. Life don't work like that. We don't respect that nowhere. So we ain't going to start respecting it now in boxing. But then y'all be the same people that sit up there and tell me that y'all respect Deontay Wilder so much because he kept rematching Tyson Fury even though he was getting beat up. You can't have it both ways, y'all. You cannot have it both ways. You got to pick a side and stay there. You got to be consistent on your points. If you respect Deontay Wilder, then you can't tell me you respect Devin Haney the same way. Because guess who else had cheating allegations and all of that stuff against them also? Um, and Deontay Wilder still fought that man again. Miguel Cotto literally cheated. Like, we know he cheated inside of the ring. Legitimately. And Miguel Cotto rematched that man. Floyd Mayweather ain't have to um, rematch Marcus Mandana, but he did. He didn't have to do that, but he did. So, man, y'all know what this is, man. Dean, by any means. And I holler at y'all.